Scientists just found a way to turn radioactive <laughs> waste into the rarest fuel on Earth. All right, but it's not through magic. It's about using waste as a target in a particle accelerator to generate neutrons, then breed the tritium elsewhere. Fusion reactors rely on a reaction between deuterium and tritium. Deuterium can be found in seawater. That's the most common reaction, but it's possible to do deuterium, deuterium. About 300 milligrams per liter, but efficient. tritium is the real problem. There's only about 10 kilograms of it on the entire planet. But True, that's the inventory and circulation, though it does also decay over time. So it's more like we're topping off a leaky bucket of tritium. Researchers at Los Alamos have just proposed a solution, using nuclear waste and a particle accelerator to make the world's most radioactive pinata. <laughs> nuclear waste- <laughs> It's not being shattered though. Some of it's still going to be left over. You're just using as a spallation target for particle accelerators to give you more neutron. It doesn't go away. Act with heavy elements like uranium and plutonium. Using a superconducting linear accelerator to fire high energy protons into the waste, the collisions trigger spallation, blasting apart heavy nuclei and freeing neutrons. Those neutrons are made to slam into a bath of molten lithium-6, where each lithium-6 nucleus absorbs a neutron and splits in two, one half becoming helium-4, the other half becoming tritium. It's all a probability function as far as what they actually turn into, but uh, you can get tritium that way. The molten lithium does double duty, both cooling the system and carrying away the freshly made tritium. The researchers' model suggests that a single plant could produce two kilograms of tritium per year. One-fifth of our current supply this is just modeling though, scaling this is where the real challenge lies. While solving two problems at once. Nuclear waste gets repurposed and fusion gets the fuel it's been starving for. So this doesn't eliminate nuclear waste. The spallation target will become more radioactive itself and will eventually be waste again. You just changed the form and extracted some neutrons along the way. But it's still a good step.